Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So the first part of this video is just going to be a voiceover. I sped it up. And then the second part will be just me talking. Uh, we're going to do a quick, I, I'm going to do a video on me using my mixed media background into a painting of some sort. And I got asked quite a few times about transferring uh, text and whatnot. So I thought real quick, I would do, you know, a video on it. So I figured I'd put it on here first. This would be the first video. And then uh, the next video will be me making this into a mixed media painting. So I just took some uh, text from books. Uh, one, the first one you're going to see, which will be soon, will be me using a piece of paper with the Elmer's glue all, and you will see it did not do well. Um, I don't think they were completely dry though. So having said that, it, you know, well, let's move on. Uh, and I use Mod Podge paper, which I love, and I used Mod Podge matte, which we all love and we all have. Um, this is just like I said, I I'm almost at 30,000 subscribers and um, I'm using Mod Podge Mod Podge Matte First, which is what we all have. This is paper that I got from the uh, craft store that's made to, uh, you know, that you could use in resin and that kind of thing and collaging. Uh, so that's what this paper is. I use two pieces of that. And I'm just putting down the uh, Mod Podge and then I will put that down and squinch it all around. Do not put it on the top because it will seal it in. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm almost at 30,000 subscribers. I'm very excited. So I get a lot of new subscribers. I'm very blessed. And, you know, I get asked these questions over and over. So for all my, uh, you know, people that's been with me forever, I know that these are the same things over and over. But I like showing, you know, when people ask me questions, I like to show new videos on it. So now I'm using Mod Podge paper, which I love. It's a... Um, glue that is specially formulated for paper uh, so it's not sticky or anything like that. Um, I had used almost all of that up that I ended up throwing away the bottle because um, I go through this stuff like crazy and I'm just using that in the corner and that will be for the um, yeah same paper I got in some pack. I don't even know the pack. Sometimes you guys send me stuff, which I love, and, you know, papers come in that as well, so. And then the next is just going to be out of a book. So that's Mod Podge paper. This is regular Mod Podge right there on front, and then next is going to be the Elmer's Glue All. Now, this is, there's a big controversy over this. This is glue all multi-purpose glue, uh, extra strong formula, dries fast, safe, non-toxic, blah, 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 blah. And I'm using it here with just a piece of paper from a book. I'm seeing if this is waterproof. It doesn't say. This said, uh, I mean, I use... <laughs> I talk about it coming up, so I'm not going to go too much into it right now. I use the uh, Elmer's Washable School Glue, and I get the best results from that. You're going to see this one did not do well. Now, I will do a video, like a quick speed through of me doing um, glue all and then the washable. Uh, and what I explained, I think in here, I don't know if I did it in the second half or this half, is... You want to make sure these are all completely dry. You want to leave them dry overnight or whatever, because if they're wet anywhere, which you're going to see, it was very humid here, and I don't think they dried all the way, honestly. Um, but they came out good. I'm not complaining. And I'm just scraping and, you know, doing that so the glue comes out. Um, don't use a wet brush. I used a wet brush after I cleaned it with the glue all, and I think that also interfered with the glue uh, bonding. And so, yeah, so I wrote on there which ones are which, and you're going to see coming up in the next video, um, you know, how it came out and how I get that off. And then, you know, in the next clip, I should say, and then my next video with this background will be me um, doing some mixed media work on it and, and showing you a, some techniques and all that I do. 
Um, I love it. And I love you guys. And I really want to thank you guys for watching. All the links to all my stuff, all my social media are down below. Go check out that description. And uh, like I said, let this dry overnight. And I suggest warm water to spray on it. I think that helps. But you can see I'm just going to use cold water. So it's not a big deal. So, all right, stay tuned in the next clip of me taking this off, and I will see you in my next video. Okay, dokie. So, I let it dry overnight, so you could see. And here's the uh, Elmer's glue all. This is the uh, Mod Podge paper, and this is just your regular Mod Podge mat. Now what we do is we moisten them. So I'm gonna spray, let's do the glue all first. And because these are permanently fixed to the paper now, it doesn't matter how much you spray, where you spray, all that good stuff. Now, here's the thing. Um, warm water works a little bit better. So if I would have put warm water in my spray bottle, it would have, you know, it. I don't know what it does to the paper because you figure the paper's like a cottony, you know what I mean? And it does its thing. Matter of fact, I will wet this one. This is a little bit of a thicker paper just to leave it sit. While I do this one, and then you just kind of, I take my nail, you could take a, uh, you know, what's it called, uh, scissors or whatever, just to start getting a little area, and I start rubbing. What's going to happen is that underneath, now I could pull some of this off where the glue did not seal. And I'm just going to rub it like this. And you're going to see those delicious words underneath. Now, again, they're going to be backwards, but it's text. It's just to add layers. It's to add interest. It's to add... Um, now, if I, I could have used this side, why am I auto-focused? I am so sorry. Every time I restart my computer, it does that. Um, I could have done this side. Uh, and then that little picture would have been on there, which is cute. So look for, you know, look for that kind of thing too, when you're doing this kind of thing, because, you know, you get little cute little pictures. Okay. I'm going to concentrate up here. Yes, some of it lifts off. I did not have the glue completely underneath, but I'm not worrying about it. And the more you rub, you'll see the more it comes off. So let's get that off. All right, so this is what the glue all did. Is it perfect? No. Is it, uh, you know, can you do it? Yeah. Then I'll take like a paper towel or a rag just to kind of get the extra off. Now you see, I'll show you this one while we're waiting. You could see some of it under there. It depends on how much you want to keep. Uh, I could have done more. I could have done less. It doesn't matter. Is it perfect? No. Is it a lot? Eh, not as much as I would have liked it. So let's do this one. And it happens sometimes. Do the same thing. Come on, come on. And you gotta watch how bad you scrape because sometimes you could scrape that up. But it doesn't look like we're scraping that up. It looks like a torque. As a matter of fact, let me. This also works with. I should have used a magazine paper too. I just wanted to show. See, I get, you see this, I get better with the, um, not the glue all, I get better with the uh, school glue. I don't know why it works better for me. Is it the 
moisture in the air? Is it, you know, whatever? I don't know. It just works better. I'll do a, like a quick video. Like I'll put it on tonight and leave it dry overnight and then do it and show you the difference between the glue all and that. But you could see this. I mean, this is gorgeous. This is the Mod Podge paper. <laughs> Let's focus on this. Sometimes that stuff doesn't work. Sometimes things don't work. Sometimes I do 20 times, but I'm not going to like edit that part out because I still got good, uh, some, you know, words and all in there. Is it what I wanted? No, this is what I wanted, but it happens. But again, I don't mean to toot my own horn or, or Mod Podge's own horn, but this is Mod Podge paper <laughs> that I used. And it came out, oh my God, my computer today is going crazy. I don't know why. It came out exactly what I wanted. And I'll take a little bit more off of the white in a second. So I'm gonna do this one, same thing. I just go in with my nails and scrape it up a little bit. And then I go in. Because once you get that started, See, I'm disappointed in that glue all because that usually works like a charm. The question is though, now that I'm thinking about it, did I do that? Did I do that after, like, did I put, did I wash my brush off and not have a fully dry brush and added a little water to that? That's what I'm wondering. So anyway, things bother me. It's not the end of the world. It happens. There's a lot of stuff you could do, but like I said, I use the Elmer's washable. Okay, so you can see. Now I wanna show you before I finish taking this off. See, that feels gummy to me and I don't, maybe my glue's bad. Maybe that's it. Maybe I just had it forever because I've been, I mean, you saw how much I had left of it. Maybe I should try it with the new glue that I have. That's what I'll do. It's gonna bother the crud out of me. All right, let me just do this real quick here. I'm only going halfway in. Okay, so let me show you really quick because people say, well, why don't you do transfers for it? I don't think that's their voice. That's just me being sassy. I use that word sassy because Teresa, she uses it all the time, sassy. And I'm not, uh, sassy is not my word. My word's B-I-T-C-H-I-Y. You know what I'm saying? Okay, anyway. So look at this. This is the way it looks before we peel off. So this is much more opaque. Do you see what I'm saying? But look how that adds to the background once you take it off. It's so much more transparent. Um, now it'll dry and have a little bit of a white haze. I can do a little bit more to take it off. Depends on what you want. What I love is that we could put a transparent paint over this. Um, or watered down paint, whatever you want, and you'll still see that underneath. I, I don't know. I just dig it. That's what the transfer looks like compared to if we would have just glued it straight on. Does that make sense? Because I get asked that all the time, like, well, what's what's the point? What's the point? Well, that's the point. You can see this is very opaque. You can't see through it underneath. This, you can. And I love it. And that's why I do transfers. I do a lot. I don't do, I don't do mixed media on here the way I do mixed media in in real life because longer videos do not do well. Um, you know, maybe 50, 60 people will watch the longer videos, which is fine. I don't mind doing them. I mean, I do them once in a while, but I don't sit and do like, I haven't done layer, layer, layer what I do to really build up and do a mixed media background if and, and mixed media painting. If that's what you would like, let me know. Um, this is kind of what it is. We did the first layer. This is going to be a second layer. Then we'll do third, fourth. But if you want me to do like start to finish, like something that maybe I'll put up for sale, uh, which I spend more time on than the videos, which sounds awful. And it's not. It's just that people don't always like to see everything. You know what I mean? And uh, I mean, I could do it in steps. I don't know. Let me know down below, guys, what you think. All right, so I'm going to squirt this again. She's really getting it. Okay, so I'm going to take the rest of that off. If I put my light on there, is that too, yeah, it's too much. I don't know, let me just do that. All right, 
go in and I'm going to... Now, if you have a toothbrush, um, I sometimes will use... Let me show you. Can I get it without knocking everything over? The onion thing that I use for, you know, I'll go... I just didn't want to do it so you guys have all this sound on here. But you could see, look how much that's taken off. And it's really making it transparent. Let me take here. And that just takes off more of the paper. Um, the words are still staying. You know, it depends on how hard you go. But you could see, I mean, that black came out perfection. And let's see what we could do here because there's a lot of white on here I didn't do. I'll show you what my favorite parts are. Okay, see how I'm doing? Just going to, and this is an onion bag, people. Now you can see right here I did way too hard and that's lifting up the paper itself, um, which is kind of what I did over here. But say la vie. I was getting ready to say something and then I changed my mind. Okay, so look at me go. Look at me go. I mean, this is life, people. This happens. Stuff happens and it just doesn't work out the way you want it. And you got to just roll with it. Because if I go and I whine or I turn my video off, like, then people are like, you know, and I, I fix it so it's perfection. That's why I love live streams and stuff because you can't fix that stuff. And sometimes mistakes happen. And, and the thing is, is that you, uh, like, look at this little mush right there. All they did was took a lighter. I'm just going to go over it. If it scratches a little, I'm okay. Because I'm going to go over it. Um, but they, you know what I mean? You get to see, like, the real deal. Everybody makes mistakes, so why can't you? Okay, so you see what I'm saying. I can do this for hours. That's the problem of me doing things like this. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe the majority off. I mean, a lot of it came off, right? And I also took off some of my background because it's paper and that happens, but I don't care. But look at that, how cute. And my favorite parts are, eh, see my paper's getting too wet, is this right here that you see behind, like it's on that black, but it kind of looks like it's behind it, on that gray rather. Oh, I just love it. I it, I love transferring. I'm going to turn you this way. And I'm going to take this again. I'm going to go in circle. You got me going in circle. You can see. Now, here's the thing. My glue might not have touched all the way to the paper and sealed. It could have bubbled up, which happens. And that could be why paper comes up. And that's why I was like, oh, did, where the heck is it? Oh, I have my hand here. When I did the white school glue, maybe I did have water in my brush. Now, that doesn't affect the Mod Podge. I mean, I, you know, but I mean, who knows? Might have affected that. Yeah. No, I'm just, I'm a little rough. <laughs> that's a thing. <laughs> Um, but, uh, you know, it's coming up some of that background and no big deal. It could be many things. It could have been, I didn't make sure it was tacked down enough. Uh, it could, it was, it's humid here as all get out. So it could have just not fully dried there. It doesn't, you know, it's a million things, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to go in and take off what I can here lightly. And I'm going in circles, as you know. Cause I'm crazy like that. All right. And this was much smaller writing. Now it could dry and, you know, have that white haze over it again. It might not. That's why I like using this. I'll go a little bit harder right here and then I'll be okay if it lifts up some of that. Okay. This is so satisfying. Yeah. All right. Which, mind you, these are transfers and all kinds of weird things. So, so then I just kind of go like this and then I will hit it a little bit just to dry it and then I'll show you. Okay. So, oh my goodness, girl. All right. Can you see like all that? Now that is not a perfect, this is a perfect 
thing, right? This is not, but I love it because look, it just looks like I did some fanciness there. Now, listen, I know people are going to be like, well, if you know, all right. I don't know if you have that voice, but that's what, that's the voice I'm using today. Cause that's the kind of mood I'm in. I'm feisty. Um, yes. If you have a stamp, of course, use a stamp. You get like the same kind of thing. And you know, what's really cool. Um, I was going to do a video on it, but I'll just talk about it. Um, is if you have white tissue paper and you stamp on it and then you, uh, go ahead and glue it down after you stamp on it with permanent, uh, it like stays on or archival or what have you. And, um, yeah, so this is the step one. I'm just going to keep it its own video because it's long enough, but this is fun. This was a request. I get these often for this procedure, even though I, I know I have many on here. So for those of you who have been with me, I'm sorry, but I, I'm almost at 30,000 and I got a lot of new subscribers and a lot of people new to mixed media and art journaling and ATCs and all. So I might be going back and doing, you know, little, little things here and there that maybe my, uh, peeps have already seen. So, you know, you can just go to a different video if it bothers you, or you could just sit and listen to my ramble. But yeah, so it was so much fun. Like I said, this adds so much, you know, and you can do it. Here's the fun thing, which I would have done. Maybe I should have done it. Maybe I will do it. Maybe I'll do it with the white spoon glue and leave it dry and do that. No, I won't. But I should have put papers all over it. That would have been fun, but I'm going to stamp a little and I'm going to blow this out. So, you know, it'll be all kinds of fun things. So stick with me because we're going to go for it. Um, that's about it. That's about it. Must have fell off. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys very much. Stay tuned for the next couple parts of this where I will, you know, this is just a background that I did and I'm just adding different layers and we're going to finish this out. It's just a piece of watercolor. I will link the, uh, video of me, um, doing this background, uh, down below if it lets me. And at the end, don't forget when you get to the end of the video, there's these little like uh, thumbnails that come up where you could click different videos, maybe that you haven't seen. Um, and please subscribe if you're not already, I would appreciate it greatly. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.